it is such a squishy bag and I just love this size. Honestly say that I had no idea that the Mulberry Alexa bag was inspired by fashionista Alexa Chung. It was upon my discovery of the Mulberry Alexa that I realized that this bag was definitely captivating and doing a bit more research I realized that yes it was in fact Alexa Chung who I am a big fan of. Obviously not that big of a fan because I didn't know that this bag was inspired by her. So yeah I did discover that and I just fell in love with the bag. What can I say? I love Alexa's personality. I think she is just such great warmth, joy to watch and I love listening to her when she's doing a TV host. She's quite a laugh in my opinion. Anyway, I uh, went to the Mulberry store and I bought a Mulberry Alexa bag. I would just like to say that it took me a very long time to decide which bag would be suitable for me because originally I did see the apricot colour and I tried it on but something wasn't right. The colour just was not telling me that I needed to have it in my collection because my wardrobe I think only one or two items would fit that colour bag and I hate buying a bag that I know that I would have to buy more clothes or other accessories to just fit that bag. So without further ado I'm going to unbox the bag. Now the creative director at the time when the Mulberry Alexa come out was Emma Hill and basically how the whole inspiration of having Alexa Chung be the, the name um, behind the bag was that Emma Hill saw a picture of Alexa carrying one of the Mulberry briefcases that was designed for men and she loved how it looked on her and then I think she just got into the creative process of creating a bag that was a similar satchel inspir inspiration but with a couple more tweaks and you know with the Mulberry Postman's lock um, she just saw this one photo and decided to kick off this massive trend that uh, was an it bag of the 2010s. Since then, uh, this bag is the new version, so this was released in 2020. And as you can see, here is the dust bag. And we've got the mulberry wrapping. So, here we have the bag in chestnut, which was the colour that I opted for because I thought that this colour would go with so many different outfits. I think this bag would work really well with vibrant bright colours as well as your simple black and your white outfits as well. And also this colour is just so beautiful, you could wear this all throughout the year. Obviously now in London it is spring so we're transitioning into the warmer weather and it is quite warm at the moment hence why I've got a fan going. So this is suitable for now. I would wear this a lot in this type of weather and also I can also see myself wearing this with a nice thick black coat in the winter time and just having this pop of warmth into the outfit. In London what I have noticed since living here is a lot of people like to wear black all through the year especially in winter and there is nothing wrong with that. Black is so easy to wear, it doesn't get as dirty as other colours but I am one to definitely have a pop of colour with my outfits all through the year. I don't I don't really follow trends. So seeing this mulberry bag I was very excited. I tried it on and it was the perfect size. Now I don't think this will fit a laptop in there but I know that it will probably fit a few books and definitely a makeup pouch and all that good stuff. So I'm going to open it up and have a closer inspection. So you've got the postman's lock here. It's got the two straps that are magnetized. So the outer appearance of this bag shows that you've got a kind of like a belt clasp there that you can undo and adjust. But the bag is simply touched by a magnet and this makes it a lot easier to open and close the bag. 
but you do have the postman's lock for security purposes there as well. So we've got stuffing in there. The bag smells so beautifully. The leather is just such good quality at Mulberry, as I mentioned before. But with this bag, it's actually got the suede uh, backing on the other side of the leather. So with the other Bayswater bag that I bought, that one has a microfiber lining on the inside. And Mulberry changed this a few years ago after hearing feedback that, you know, we don't like the microfiber. It was much more luxurious when we had that leather suede on the inside. So they have switched back and they've made it suede on the inside. And this really helps with the smell of the leather as well. So I love smelling leather bags and it really oozes out of this bag. So inside they just give general paperwork like a card and I also have the receipt in case uh, I need to talk to Mulberry uh, for warranty purposes but it's uh, sure to say that I will be keeping this bag for a long time I just find it such a classic bag so you can see without any stuffing in there it is quite relaxed fit and this is you know a look for some people and some people like the more structured look but I find with the floral dress this is such an easy to wear accessory it's not a dressy bag this bag has that carefree nature that I think um, was seen in Alexa Chung when she was wearing the satchel bag and I love how they've interpreted it so there's a few changes with the new Mulberry Alexa bag and one of those changes which I think is the biggest change is that they've really impacted their carbon uh, footprint by changing the ethically sourced leather in their tanneries by making their leather a lot more eco-friendly. I find many brands are now pushing to do this as it is a very important part of making sure that we're being responsible for our fashion. There's a few other physical changes on this bag. One of the most noticeable ones would be the handle here is now a 3D braid. And I love this, it's a lot more durable as previously it was a flat braid on top of a piece of leather but now this gives it more of a youthful and more of a trendy vibe as well but it's still very classic i can see myself carrying a bag like this for many years to come as i don't find that it is a bag that will date obviously people still wear the original mulberry alexa and it looks so good whenever i see someone in london carrying a mulberry bag i'm always just smiling at them it is a bag that people love because of its history and just because it was an it bag of the time and it's not a goldy bag it's not shouting at you it's not telling you hey look at me look at my brand <laughs> there's definitely more of an appeal for me with classic wear it comes with a shoulder strap and this is a long shoulder strap that I can wear quite easily. It's also adjustable for shorter girls and tall girls. And on the side, we have the clasps where you can take off the hooks and just wear it on your wrist, like so, on your arm, say if you're shopping or if you're just out and about. I find that this is a very easy way to wear it. And what else do we have? On the inside of the bag, there is just one pocket and then you've got the big space. Now, something that I've just noticed while playing with this bag is that it is a little bit difficult to close the postman's lock when there is not a lot in the bag. Now, there is nothing inside this bag at the moment and you can see that it is kind of pushing through in the middle so it kind of gets a little bit thinner towards the middle so you have to really push the postman's lock towards the bag if you want to get the um, lock to go through the hole so it's not a, it's not that big of a deal for me I do still find that this would be quite practical to get in and out of but it's just something to keep in mind if you were looking into buying the larger size Mulberry Alexa. 
Now because I am quite fond of having a multitasking bag that I could maybe wear on uh, the last few days of work that looks suitable for the evening as well as a work bag. So I have a 13 inch MacBook and I'm going to attempt to put this inside the Morbury Alexa. Now I don't think it will fit just by visual judgment but I'm just going to try and no. I think if you had an iPad it would work a lot better but as you can see it is quite a lot bigger. First impressions on this bag I would have to say that I think that it is quite a relaxed nature, a slouchy kind of a appearance and I don't own a lot of bags like this so I think that this is very welcome in my collection. Okay, so now I'm going to see what fits inside the Mulberry bag and I'm going to push it to its limits just that little bit to see what it will be like on the days where we need to carry a lot more than we've anticipated. So, I'll take out the stuffing to begin with. Now first of all, I will pop in a makeup pouch. This is quite a large size one. I've got some gum, I've got a wallet, now keeping London's weather in mind, I've got a small umbrella, of course I will need to pack my phone, I've got a medium sized brush, I've got a fragrance, 100ml size, I've got some sunscreen, now it's getting warm, and of course I need to pop in a book. Oh, we're starting to get full now. And lastly, that is pretty full, but in the winter time I always carry a scarf and I think it is quite useful when you can pack a scarf away in your bag when it gets hot when you're out at a shopping center. So, it does not quite fit with the scarf in there. <laughs> I would have to really pack it in and then fold it over. And this is quite practical. I mean, this is what happens a lot of the time when you carry lots of stuff. Your bags do get quite full, so you can see here that it looks full and heavy. Now I probably won't push this bag to those limits because I do find this bag very, very precious. So I will probably just keep it at those limits like that. And I would just put up with wearing my scarf over my shoulder. <laughs> but as you can see, that is quite a good amount of stuff that fits in that bag. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos.